Hey everyone, this is Gus, your friendly neighborhood Salesforce admin. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about mapping lead conversion fields. Um, so this is just some native Salesforce functionality that is really great once it's fleshed out. Uh, essentially, it's a way to streamline the process of pulling data from a lead over to a contact, account, and opportunity record once that lead is converted. Um, so the benefits of making sure this is set up correctly are that you can ensure that data is being passed accurately from record to record as they move through your sales process. It also allows you to decrease the amount of time and sort of manual entry that your reps have to do uh, once those uh, new records are created. Um, and lastly, it's a great, great resource for data integrity. So just make sure that everything lines up exactly as it did from one record to the next, uh, improve your reporting across the board, allow you to generate really interesting conversion metrics, um, some just some really solid data uh, integrity practices there. So let's take a look. All right, so this will be a quick little overview of how to set up your lead conversion mapping. Um, so this is a really straightforward process, but it's definitely beneficial to go through to make sure data is passing accurately from your leads to the other associated records that we, uh, that we pull out of there. So we're gonna go into setup and go to object manager, and then we're gonna go take a look at our lead object. And then once we're there, we're gonna look at fields and relationships, and then map lead fields. So this process is really, really straightforward. Um, essentially, all you're doing is you are clicking down to find the, the lead field on the left-hand side and mapping it to an account field on the right-hand side. Um, and you follow that exact same process uh, for the other objects that are associated. So as a reminder, uh, a lead can be contacted, can be converted to an account, a contact, or an opportunity. Um, all three, some combination thereof. You'll notice that on our opportunity object here, we do have a mapping of the additional priorities field and the BD partner name. So anytime a lead is converted to an opportunity, the opportunity will inherit those values from the original record. Um, so really the use case here is just to make sure that all of your data is as clean as possible. Um, always great to make sure that that data is passing accurately from one record to the next. And it's a really you know, straightforward process to configure, uh, but I always wanna make sure you have a good idea of what you're mapping where. Um, and so you just wanna make sure you hit save at the very bottom anytime you make any changes to these conversion mappings. And that's all she wrote. All right, everyone, that was a quick overview on how to do conversion field mapping. Um, so nothing crazy out of the box as far as the configuration piece of it goes, but always beneficial to have to make sure your data is passed accurately from record to record as you have customers that move through your sales process. Uh, so really glad that I was able to give you guys this overview and let us know if you need anything. I'm out.